In this video, I'm going to share with you three things you should not expect when visiting Oskar Schindler's factory museum in Krakow. Make sure you stick until the end so that after we have established what to expect there, I will share with you, in my opinion, the best way to visit this museum. I am Zuzanna Varigura. I'm a professional Krakow guide helping you to get the most wonderful experience in my beautiful city. I have been a guide here in the Schindler's Factory Museum since 2013. I have guided hundreds of people around this beautiful, very well done exhibition. But still, I noticed that there are some people who walk out of here a little disappointed. And I noticed that the only people who are disappointed are those who came here with the wrong idea about what this place really is. So this is why here I'm going to present three uh, things that you should not expect to find here. And hopefully this will make your experience in the Schindler's Factory Museum a much better one. Number one, do not expect a factory. Uh, yes, this place is called Oskar Schindler's Factory Museum. And there is no factory here. It is located in the office building of Oskar Schindler's factory. And the whole industrial part is completely gone. Uh, the actual factory was here behind this gate. And the gate, by the way, it's original. Uh, but after the war, there was a different factory here and they completely changed that space behind there. So there is nothing connected with the industrial part. Uh, inside the museum, which is in the office building, you will see, for example, Oskar Schindler's office. You will see these steps, which are quite recognizable for, uh, as an image from the Schindler's List, the movie. Uh, but pretty much this is it. The whole exhibition is not designed for you to feel like you are visiting an office building or for sure not like you are visiting uh, an actual factory. Number two. This exhibition is not only about Oskar Schindler and his Jews. Um, the official title of this exhibition is Krakow under Nazi occupation from 1939 until 1945. And it provides an amazing insight into the reality of World War II in Krakow. Uh, it talks about the story of non-Jewish Poles, the fate of Jewish people, and the life of the Germans who moved here in Krakow during the Second World War. So overall, it provides a much deeper perspective uh, and a lot of background to why Oskar Schindler was such an important persona and, for example, what really was the situation of the Jewish community that he helped them get away from. But when it comes to Oskar Schindler, really there are only two rooms in the whole museum dedicated to his story, uh, the story of the factory and the story of his people. So it's a small part of this exhibition, but again, um, as long as you know that this is what you should expect, I am sure this visit will be amazingly insightful for you and it will provide a big context uh, for the understanding of what happened here during the Second World War. Number three, there are no audio guides or guided tours available here inside. So if you do not plan your visit ahead and you just decide to come here, First of all, you will probably find a big line to get tickets on the spot. But anyway, this will be just only uh, individual tickets for visiting on your own. They will not have any audio guide and they will not have any guided tour available. And maybe let's say this is 99% of chances because they do have a tour in English once a day at 4 p.m. Uh, and it's available to book it online before. They have 25 spots for this tour. If they don't sell out, which they usually do, then the rest of the spots are available here um, to buy just at the cashier. So this is your 1% chance to just come here and get the guided tour. But otherwise, if you want to visit with the guide, you definitely have to plan it ahead. 
Uh, of course, there are commercial tours which you can buy online uh, on somebody's website or uh, on these online ticket travel agents like Get Your Guide or Viator. So this is possible, but uh, it has to be planned beforehand. Uh, so make sure you take that into consideration when you think about your visit here. So here we get to this additional information I also wanted to share with you, which is whether to actually go on a guided tour or is it enough, good enough to just go and visit this museum on your own. So when it comes to a guided tour, it usually takes about one hour and 20 minutes or one and a half hours. Uh, and this is best to be done if you want to be the most time efficient uh, and if you don't have time during your day to wander around this museum for hours and read a lot and try to find the information which is interesting for you. Uh, and of course, this is great if you would like to use the guide, guide's knowledge and this, of course, uh, helps you ask questions and go a little bit deeper into some things that maybe uh, you are interested in or you don't understand. Uh, some guides, for example, know that uh, the museum doesn't really provide that much information um, about Oskar Schindler uh, and that people expect that and that people want that. So, for example, me, I always uh, weave in the story of Oskar Schindler from the very beginning uh, of this tour, treating the museum kind of as a canvas for, uh, for the story. But in this exhibition, they really display a lot of information, uh, a lot of videos and interviews with Holocaust survivors, for example, uh, or sort of witnesses to history. Uh, so if you have time and you, you have experience uh, visiting such museums, uh, you might really get out a lot on visiting on your own. Uh, but uh, please beware, reading and watching every single thing which is there, uh, it takes a couple of days. So also, uh, please be ready that there really is a lot. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, that now you know what to expect here and now you can make an informed decision uh, whether or not to visit this museum. I recommend it 100%. It's a very well done, very insightful museum that really takes you back in time. Uh, if you are visiting Krakow and you would like to go on a guided tour, please check the link below. Uh, there is a link to my tour. Uh, I will be very happy to come with you here and share with you, uh, for example, some personal stories of these people, which are amazing. Thank you for watching and see you again.